Metamiao is an outsourcing company I opened with my best friend here in Japan about three years ago. We target primarily AAA game developers and provide services such as technical art, graphics programming and consulting. The thing that sets us apart from other outsourcing studios is the small scale of the company, but we also have very highly specialized people. We dig into technical art, but also graphics programming. We understand graphics pipelines, consoles performance, and we use all of that knowledge to offer the best quality solutions at the highest performance. The primary clients that we work with currently are Square Enix, Game Freak, Orca, and a number of smaller companies. And we are hoping to have more and more clients in the future. We use Houdini in a variety of ways, which can be broadly separated in two categories. The first one being research and development, where we explore a new problem space that perhaps hasn't been done yet. And then we use a number of tools from Houdini to generate some custom data and then really think about how we're going to approach solving this issue. Some of that is in code, some of that is using bot nodes, using SOPs and DOP networks, everything mixed together. In production, we would usually take some data from other DCC tools, then process that in Houdini. One of the projects we used Houdini for was the bracelet project, where we wanted to run magical water simulation that is bending and defying gravity with detailed splashes and realistic ocean-style rendering in a miniature scale. The main idea behind it was to use the Houdini ocean tools the whitewater tools, but in a very small scale context. The way we approached it was to simulate a flat tank first, create all the splashes and the shape that we wanted, and then bend it using the Houdini modeling tools into a ring shape, while also generating collisions with the bracelet model. As a result of this process, we ended up with a number of caches, with a surface cache, a volume for the ocean inside, as well as different foam layers that we brought into Unreal Engine and rendered using the Path Tracer. Thanks to Houdini tools, we were able to recreate a very high quality image of an ocean rendering inside Unreal Engine, which was a challenge for us and was something we wanted to prove is possible with the latest tools. Metafoam is an Unreal Engine tool we developed using Houdini and our custom R&D tools. It allows users to create realistic looking foam from basic geometry and comes with a number of presets for generating common liquid foam and bubbles, such as beer foam, coke foam, tea, coffee, and custom presets which users can create. It also supports thin and thick foam and it's built in a procedural way, which means users can zoom in up to infinite detail. In this specific project, we used Houdini volumetric tools to build the bubble 3D textures, which were exported as volumes using the Side Effects Labs tools. We then used those 3D textures to build layered procedural bubble maps in Unreal Engine, in materials, and to allow users to layer different scales and sizes of noises to create uh, complex foam patterns that can be customized to achieve different looks. Using volumetric tools in Houdini allowed us to blend actors seamlessly in Unreal Engine and achieve unlimited detail when zooming up. Going forward, we are looking into supporting path tracing and the new rendering tools in Unreal Engine 5.5. For those of you interested in Metafon, the tool is available on Fab. Another Houdini project we created recently is the Bubble Tea project. This is part of our series of experiments with liquids and ocean rendering in Unreal, which we are planning to take to film quality. This project uses several layers of fluid simulations and different features in Houdini. The main crown splash of the tea uses surface tension and it's created as a flip sim with added effects, volumetric modeling, and some hand-placed effects for the highest quality. There is a number of background elements using fluids as well. The helix-shaped splash around the cup and an abstract pink splash that was driven by a curve and pop particles turned into fluid. We also have tapioca here and everything is generated procedurally. We initially rendered this image using Karma, blending several layers of materials for the brown sugar syrup, the tapioca inside the cup, 
a glass interface, as well as various layers of liquid. In the next stage of this project, we are planning to move all the data into Unreal Engine and make it run at 30 FPS. We're planning to optimize the data for this project using geometry caches, also cleverly looping simulations so that we can achieve the same poster but in motion, while also minimizing the amount of data being piped through. One of the tricks that can be used in real time to achieve this is to have a static mesh that is flowing through and is being repeated. So there is no simulation, however, the movement of the mesh is recreated using a looping liquid that can save a lot of memory of surface caches, but giving a similar effect. With its diverse toolkit and incredibly flexible sandbox environment, Houdini allows us to innovate and be creative in new ways and deliver the highest quality work to our clients. In the future, we plan to use Houdini more and more to grow our business, continue punching above our weight and help customers around the world solve their most difficult production issues.